first and foremost, rest in peace to the young warrior that died. You know, took a lot of head headshots, head injuries, uh, Maxim. And um, my be, yeah, my thoughts on it is, you know, not to uh, try to jump off of his death and and uh, you know say the I told you so's and all of that, but that is the reason for defense. That's why we always talk about defense first. If you're a fighter and you're using your head as defense or your body as your defense, the brawling style is good, but it catches up with you later on in life. You know what I'm saying? If you're young, you may be able to pull that style off, but as you get older, you'll see your bodies fall apart. Just like uh, the, the true Muay Thai practitioners over there, like, they, 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 they're done by 20, 25, because they start doing that Muay Thai like six, seven. They kick the trees, they harden their body. So if they don't become champion, they wash the side, broken bodies on the side. So the body can't take for so much. So boxing being what it is, it is not a sport. You play basketball, you don't play boxing. No, you don't play boxing. You can't, you can't predict any type of injury in boxing. Yeah. Anything goes yeah. as far as yeah. once your hands start breaking. You know, certain people don't eat the right things for their bones to heal properly. They train while hurt. You know, it's just... We all seen the story of Million Dollar Baby. You know, how she, you know, this, this, this fighters that then died, the microphone used to drop from the middle down. And there's a, uh, I forgot the name of the boxer that walked into it, and he died. Know, head injury from walking into the mic. And so, you know, there's a lot of different ways. Falling the wrong way, getting punched in the throat, it's fighting. So there's a lot of ways to go, and it's legal, killing. You know, you got a license to kill. The person that died, you know, the boxer that gave him that head injury, he's not going to be questioned. Even, even Nothing's going to happen. to have the, the cement in his gloves. Like, you know, certain fights, they don't even check the gloves right. You know, if, if something like that happened in a professional I mean, nothing like that never supposed to happen where they wrap, got some hardening, hardening or something on the gloves where, you know what I mean, everything got to be looked at from different perspectives as far as, you know, making the sport what it was. It's so watered down now, nobody focuses on conditioning or defense as far as nobody getting hurt. No, that's why defense is needed, though. These, you know, the, the sport of boxing wants the crowd. The crowd wants blood, you know. So defensive boxing can be boring, you know. But, you know, you got to think like Mayweather. You know, if you want a long career, a good career, and you want to be able to enjoy your money, defense, baby. You know what I'm saying? Defense first, 52 block, school coming. Georgia, stay tuned. The first school, first school of defense, you know. LB is bringing it to you. But anyway, you know, rest in peace to him. Time to get down to the real thing. Khalid, sweet hands plant. I don't know if you've seen this kid. Three round victory. Fire the boys. Defense on point. I like it when you, you swing and he do that thing like that. You know what I'm saying? When you miss, he hits you with the miss. Where you at? You know, Khalid, sweet hand plants. I believe he is the future of the super middleweight division. He is the super middleweight division. He's going to have to move up because. He's too good. I don't think, you know, there's going to be too many people there for him right now. But um, on to the next. Sean Porter, Errol Spence, who you got? I got Spence because uh, Porter ain't look too impressive his last two fights. He's kind of erratic where Spence is more. I think you guys beat Porter up. That last fight when he fought you guys, yeah. I think they gave Porter a gift because you guys was kind of punching him into and, oblivion. And you, so. You see on replay, they say that was a slip. That wasn't no slip. Yeah, I don't know. What know what I mean, when your glove touch and you move that back foot and that knee touch, that's, did you, that's did counting. you see the face off with Errol Spence? The point, he was like this on him. Errol Spence, I'm going to punish small. you. He, too small. <laughs> he hit him with the, I'm going to punish you. He's too small, Yeah, too. you see the size difference, right? He's too little, man. Like, Spence be saying that. Like, he goes up and wait or come down, and still he got the advantage if he got the reach and the height. I don't really see nobody beating him because he can mix it up and his defense is better than most, you know what I'm saying, as far as adversity. Adversity is, you know, when the, when the rounds heat up, he heat up. So he bring that fire back and he just block, block, block. He Whoa. block, countering, moving around, hitting that body, yeah. taking them legs. That's right. You know what I mean? He's doing right. the fundamentals right. of boxing. Now he's a tree chopper. He go to the body, he chop you down, he's very patient. 
And you know, Errol Spence is, he's so good, he looks like he's doing nothing. That's why nobody can understand the style. Like they look at a Terrence Crawford, because Terrence is flashy. He's, he's switching leads Next. on you. He look good. Errol don't have that, so they don't think Errol has the ring genius, the like ring smart. That boy is ring genius. And he, like I said, he's so good, he looks simple. And that's usually how the real good shit is. It, look, it looks simple. Who, who you think gonna win out of them two? Who? Because Ford is already... Well, I'm already with Spence. Like I said during the face-off, Spence was like this. I'm going to punish you. Well, I'm with Spence. Spence He's going to Crawford, punish though. Porter. I want to see that. He's going to, huh? I want to see him and Crawford. Because yeah, everybody I, screaming Crawford. I think Crawford too small for him. Do you too see little, how Porter looks? He's lighting the ass, to, like you uh, said. He's lighting the ass. Spence, he's lighting the ass. <laughs> they talking about, like, even when Keith Thurman. Now, what about Keith Thurman? How, how many lumps do you need? <laughs> you know what I'm You see all them lumps on his head? He all the way on the bottom of the totem pole now, I, man. After that loss... I, I, I went to him my cup of coffee like I'm gonna need four lumps because he had like eight lumps across his head. Hockey out beat the mess out of him. Did you see? Like he stitched his inside his lip on these stitches. With that. He he brailed them all across the forehead, knocked him down. <laughs> Saying like he was that to me. Keith Thurman was in a no-win situation. Say say he beat Pacquiao, then you would have had to face Errol. He was gonna get he was gonna get that ass whipping and that smoke anyway, either even way, if he didn't. He like even even Pacquiao. Pacquiao's not in a good position either. Who you gonna face? Errol Spence? Please don't do that, Pac Man. Because nah, he will jumping, be the man to retire you. Shit. What you're gonna have to do, Pacquiao, is retire, become a senator, leave this boxing bullshit alone. It's over, you the man. You let it go. You know go, what out, I'm saying? go out with the cape. Up. Yeah, go out with the win because if they feed you the Errol Spence, it's, it's gonna be ugly. It's Niggas not a shock bait, man. Like, he's the face of boxing right now. Errol Spence, man, hands down. I don't really see no other boxer beating him nah. right now. Well, I've and been getting a lot of emails of my uh, my pound for pound list. So I'm going to lay my pound for pound Number list one. right now down so everybody can hear it and don't get it mixed up. This is my pound for pound list. Number one, Canelo. Anybody who doesn't think Canelo is the pound for pound fight, best fighter in the game is crazy. Canelo, Errol Spence Jr., Terrence Crawford. Yeah. No, 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 no. Let me no. take that back. Let me take that the back. Canelo, Errol Spence, Lomachenko, Lomachenko, Terrence Crawford, Bud Crawford, Mikey Garcia. That's my pound for yeah, pound yeah, list. Yeah. And I, like I said, I, 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 I did anybody debate me on my number one. Debate me on Canelo. Who you got? Who you got doing what Canelo did? It's long in the game. Like, who you got? No man. Low battery. Right, okay. Sure. Yeah, my, my my our time is running short. We're gonna be back though.